have St Mary's. Whilst we can't be physically present with one another at this stage, it is great to be able to speak with one another, to encourage one another through God's word, through different platforms on social media, through telephone. And it is good that we can read God's word together. Each and every day we'll upload a psalm, beginning with Psalm 1 today, which focuses on that great theme of God's word and how it is actually God's word that will hold us together. It is God's word inspired by his son, the Lord Jesus, and powered in us by the Holy Spirit that will actually keep us spiritually safe and maybe even growing during this present crisis of our nation. And so what we're going to do each day is a psalm together. We're going to be prayerful. We're going to hopefully have a challenge or two as well. I'm not sure how many psalms we get through. Maybe we'll get through 10. Maybe we'll get through 150. But today we're going to look at Psalm 1. I'm going to read it. Please take out your Bibles and we're going to read it together. Psalm 1 begins with these great words. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers, not so the wicked. They are like chaff, that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Now, just want to focus on one key idea from verse 2, which really drives home to me the joy it should be to know the law of the Lord, and that is God's word must be a delight. Many of you will know that when I first came to St. Mary's, one of my first talks had the idea of how much I love pavlova. And another talk I have done before, and always about food, as many of you will know, has the idea of delight being like a person who has a heaped plate of pancakes. And as you have your six stacked pancakes, you pour maple syrup slowly over the top of the pancakes and they're warm. And as it goes over the edge, it drenches down to the sides and soaks up into the bottom pancake. And you just can't wait to get to that bottom pancake full of syrup and great oozing pancake. That is a delight. The person who enjoys that is a person who also delights in the Word of God. For it is in the Word of God, like Psalm 1 begins the entire book of Psalms about, that finds their wisdom, finds their godliness, finds truth in God's Word. It sets the course of life. It either is set according to righteousness or blessedness or wickedness and ungodliness. And so Psalm 1's a great psalm for us to begin with. It is God's Word each and every day through the psalms that we will do together that will help us not merely survive but grow in the faith because God's word will also enable us to make good decisions, wise decisions, to be free from fear that leads to despair, to take our fears to our Heavenly Father, for we delight in his word. And when we are struggling at times when fears will overcome us and we wonder, is our faith more like the chaff than it is like the tree planted in near the great stream fed by the word of God. And as we wonder these things, we can be drawn back to God's word together. Each day we're going to do a couple of things. One of them might be to provide a challenge to one another. And the challenge here, I think, is will you sit with us each day, look through the Psalms, read a Psalm, ponder the questions, meditate on God's word. The question for today is will you tomorrow. Read Psalm 2. Will you continue to see that Jesus Christ is the answer to the fear that we may have, the problems that we could be going through? And also, will you also take up the challenge to be the type of person who will pick up the phone, who will get on social media and will ask their friend who they have not seen at church because church is not on in its current form, 
how they're going. Do they need assistance? Can I pray for you? And all that comes because the beautiful word of the Lord, inspired by Jesus Christ, powered by the Spirit, changes us to be more than me-centered, but other person-centered. I encourage you with this challenge. See you tomorrow. Read the word. Dwell on it. Pray with your family. Be encouraged by God's word. Delight in the law of the Lord. It is the wisdom. And continue to hold firm in your resolve that whether it be one month, two or three, we will meet again. And until that time, keep in God's word. This is Trent, Minister at St Mary's. God bless you. Keep your faith strong and stay strong together. Amen.